Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with Precision Electric at precisionelect.com. That's precision-elec.com. We're your industrial automation service center. Drives, motors, controls, automation. We've been doing it for a long time. So if you need any of that done, make sure you give us a call. Today's video, uh, we're gonna cover the ACS355 series. Um, we're still continuing on in the advanced tutorials or the, I'm sorry, the basic tutorial area of this drive. And in this particular video, we're gonna cover how to wire a speed potentiometer. We aren't yet gonna do start-stop control on these drives. We're just doing the speed potentiometer. That's this knob right here, where you can turn up and down your speed with uh, any kind of external analog reference. Technically, this would also work with a external speed reference from a PLC or any other kind of analog signal that you might have. So let's go ahead and get it wired and get it programmed. So I brought in my analog speed reference here with three wires, and this uh, is wired to my speed potentiometer. Now a speed potentiometer is gonna have three signals that it needs or is sending to my drive. The red wire on mine is wired to the plus 10 voltage or the supply side of my speed pot. The black wire on mine is wired to the common on my speed pot. And then the white wire is wired to the actual reference or the varying voltage, the zero to 10 voltage from my speed pot. So your wiring coloring might not match up, but in standard wiring for speed pots, these, this is the color scheme you want to follow. Uh, but you could very easily just use three blue wires for low voltage or three wires of any type. This is just our recommended setup. Now, in the previous video, we went over a uh, macro. And in the previous video, we set up our drive for the ABB standard macro. Now, depending on your actual setup, the wiring should be the same for your analog input here. So no matter how you programmed it, you can wire your analog reference the same uh, regardless of the programming. So let me go ahead and show you how I did mine. Here my signal wire is actually wired to terminal number two. And my common wire is wired to terminal number three. And my plus voltage is wired to terminal number four. And that does match up with the print. The print says the exact same thing. Two is my signal, three is my ground, and plus 10 volt is my, uh, my red or terminal four. And that's actually all you need to do for the analog wiring portion of it. But there's one more important thing we need to point out here. Notice down here I have some jumpers set up. This is because when you put the drive in speed pot control, you have to give the drive a start command of some kind. So in order for me to use the speed pot, you're going to see this a little later in the video, we need to have some kind of a start command. Now, for the simplicity of this video, I did not wire an external start command or a selector switch. That's gonna be in the next video. What I did is I set the jumpers that were on my print. Again, we had the, the standard ABB macro, and it tells me in that print, in the manual, to jumper terminals 10 and 11, so that would be this jumper here. And then what I did is it said my start command is between terminals nine and 12. And so I set another jumper here just for my start command. Now this is the jumper we're gonna replace with an external push button in the next video to start the drive from an actual push button instead of a jumper. But for the sake of this video, like I said, we're just jumpering our start command so that we can start the drive with the terminal strip and then run it off the speed pot. So let's go ahead and get it programmed and then uh, we'll show it off. Now in the previous video, we actually already set up the drive for the ABB standard macro which is in the manual. It shows all the wiring diagrams. We just went over a portion of it for the speed pot. So the nice thing about those macros is they preset the drive up for a configuration. And in the previous video, we just ran off the keypad. We didn't run at all off the terminal strip. Well, the cool thing is, is the terminal strip's already set up for a speed pot and a start command. So we actually don't have to do any additional programming here from the speed macro. So essentially, all I need to do is to switch from my keypad control, which I can start right now from the keypad and stop from the keypad, is I press this local remote button and it'll actually switch over to the terminal strip and it's gonna start right away. And the reason I bring that up is because remember, I jumpered my start command. So let me go ahead and switch to remote. And as soon as I switch to remote, it receives that start command from my jumper. And now it's looking at my speed pot for speed. So now I can actually turn it up so there's full speed, 
And I can turn it all the way down if I want. And it just sits there. If I want to switch back to my keypad control, I can just press local remote again, and I'm actually back in keypad control. If I want to start it, press the start command, and I can now use the up and down arrow keys to control the speed on the keypad. So that is the that is one of the nicer things about the actual uh, macros is that they they minimize the amount of programming you have to do to set this kind of thing up. So that's all there is to this video. We covered how to wire the speed potentiometer, and we technically covered how to program it in the previous video because it already set it up for you. And if you haven't watched the previous video, essentially all we did is we went in and set up the startup assistant in the keypad and we chose the ABB standard macro at startup. There are a couple other macros that support a speed pot and you can see all of those macros right inside the manual. So thank you for stopping by. If you have any questions, don't forget we actually sell the ACS 355 at our website. That's at precision-elect.com and uh, we'll be more than happy to help you with any questions you might have. So uh, be sure to swing by and check out what we got and uh, give us a call if you have any questions. Thank you.